So my name is Frederick Sylvester. I'm currently working in the University of Namur in Belgium, in the French-speaking part of Belgium. And I went uh, at the University of California in Davis for my postdoc research in the field on, of uh, biology and aquatic ecotoxicology. Uh, I went there uh, two years ago and I spent a total of one year in, U in the US on the Fulbright program. And to be totally exact, I spent seven months in UC Davis and five other months in the University of Louisiana in, uh, in Lafayette. So I have two different uh, view of, uh, of the US, uh, of a uh, Californian view and a uh, Louisiana view. So, uh, as I said, I'm uh, currently involved in a postdoc research in biology, and in my field of research, it's very important to travel uh, after the, the PhD level in order to, to get uh, international contact and to, to improve our experience, our research experience, uh, our uh, research uh, skills in the lab, and to meet new people with a very high qualifications. So US for me was one of the best country to, to fulfill these goal, goals, to meet uh, very qualified people and uh, above all to try to, to set up uh, a network, of uh, a professional network to try to, to, to keep this network for my future career. I want to say that there is no rule to, to start a postdoc. I think that if you want to, to keep working in the university, you have to, to do a postdoc. And uh, the first step is to find money to, 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 to work for your postdoc uh, instead of finding another job. So from my own experience, I, I first found a grant in Belgium. So I signed a contract for three years with uh, FNRS. And during the three years of research project, I uh, set up an experimental design to work in the US. So during the three years, I spent one year in the US uh, with the Fulbright as a complement uh, grant for my research. First, I, I found, I, I knew people uh, because of uh, scientific literature. So I knew the, the, the guy, uh, the head of the laboratory where I went in, uh, to uh, California was one of the leaders in my field of research. So I read a lot of uh, scientific articles from him. And so I decided, okay, I set up my experimental design and I, I decided, okay, this is what I want to do for my postdoc. So I decided to contact him uh, via email, not not via the phone, but now it's uh, internet, it's via email. And he answered uh, very quickly and he was agreed to, to accept me. Of course, I sent my curriculum vitae and uh, he checked for the publication and if uh, my skill was uh, sufficient and he accepted me. I didn't have to uh, because uh, for the, the postdoc, I mean, they suppose you, you are good enough in English to, to try to, 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 to do the, the minimum uh, to work in the lab. So uh, I, I didn't have to, to, to fulfill a lot of papers to be accepted by the university, by the dean or by the president, but just by the head of the laboratory. No, I didn't have to pay any fees. But of course, California is rather expensive, so uh, the Fulbright grant is uh, very helpful and uh, it cost, uh, cost some money to, to find uh, an apartment and uh, just to, to live. I would try to, to be open-minded and to, to pick a location where you can meet other international people, other American, of course, but other international people and to try to, to accept the other culture and try to be completely involved in your American way of life, wherever you are, and uh, try to not to, to stay with other people from your own country and try not to stay with, for me, with French-speaking people, but try to go with American and other international people. That's what I did, and I think I, it was the best way to 
to, to, to get a good experience. And after, when you come back to your country, you can, when you know in Europe, we, we had sometimes some préjugés uh, from the US. And I think that all these préjugés, not all, but most of them were completely broken. And uh, you can discuss and you can okay, balance some uh, positive and negative as aspects. And I think that after all, you can try to mix the best from the US and the best from Europe uh, to, to, to get your experience and for your future career. Euh, mais je dirais que la vie américaine vaut en tout cas euh, la peine d'être vécue et euh, la vie en plein air aux états unis est exceptionnelle et mérite d'être euh, associée à une vie peut-être plus culturelle en Europe pour, pour faire euh, de soi, une, pour garder une expérience exceptionnelle.